Hi Virgo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And today we have what are their true intentions in love. And so Virgo, uh, we have some new oracle cards here just for you, Virgo, right? Yeah, just for you and uh, maybe 11 other signs, if that's okay. <laughs> I hope you guys are all well. And Virgo, uh, you are like very motivated about something here. Yeah. And so uh, we have the sun card here too. And this talks about, you know, this is from the Chinese the Chinese deck. Yeah, it is. And we're proud to say that not because we're really Chinese, but, uh, you know, they, I don't really like how they try to take away, uh, uh, the beautiful words about the Orient because it always implies mystery and beauty and so much culture, right? The Orient. Yeah. And so that's fine. That's what they did. Okay. But you know, like they do about everything, but uh, you know, we, this is growth in personal relationships. This is a beautiful card, the sun card, uh, Virgo. And this is newfound optimism and enthusiasm. Yeah, it is. And so, you know, you feel right now that the sun is either shining on you brilliantly or that it will be. Because I feel like you are very motivated to have somebody in your life or to go after them right? We have the fairy here and, you know, she drank some, this is the card of caffeine. And so, you know, maybe you drank a lot of coffee today, Virgo. I'm not really sure. Right. But it really talks about motivation. Mm -hmm. And this is a wonderful period for emotional happiness around, around your life. Yeah. If you're single, this card can mean the beginning of a new strong relationship. It can. And I feel like this is what you are so motivated to have, right? I also feel like you could have went through some type of an awakening. We have this discovery card here. We do. And, uh, you know, she's looking at the dragon, the fairy. These are all fairies, right? And she's looking at the dragon. She's kind of like, almost like smelling kind of. But the point is that there's some type of like joy in her, in her discovery, I believe. Right? And so let's see what they have to say about this discovery. This is the potential. And I feel like this is what you are feeling. You are feeling you're very motivated because you feel like there is so much potential about a relationship that you're, I feel like you're chasing or you're going after. You could be, I don't know if you're returning to somebody, but you look like you are going towards somebody here and so motivated and so kind of jazzed or uh, pumped possibly for some of you guys, right? We do have the gossip card though. And this is a trip card because yeah, I can talk about gossip, but you might be afraid here that somebody will judge you. And that's what these uh, two kind of, uh, I have to call them dumb broads here. You guys, sorry. It's not a nice way to say, but uh, they kind of look like it. Right. And yeah, I mean, Mm hmm. And, uh, you know, they're looking at the kind of prettier woman here and they're, they look like they're judging her, right? Biages, right? And so, you know, maybe there's jealousy here because they look like they definitely could be jealous over here. But this gossip card, uh, can talk about, you might feel or kind of fear here that whoever you're going after is maybe going to judge you. It's a possibility here, right? It kind of looks like Sagittarius is reading a little bit, but we also have the oldest fairy, right? Here he is. And he looks like, you know, he's real old. He's kind of like, he has a cane. He's kind of hunched over, stand up straight, Virgo, right? Please do that. So you don't like, you know, mold your bodies, <laughs> mold your back, right? And this is timelessness. This can talk about getting older, but you could be saying, maybe this is, this person is getting older or you are, maybe this is 20 years later or something, but you look like you are kind of recognizing or saying to yourself, that's not the most important thing. Age. The most important thing is that I'm really in love with this person. I feel like you see, you, you are feeling there is so much potential here. Yeah. This is a beautiful reading. It is. You feel like there's so much potential between you and somebody. And I feel like you have woken up right? With the discovery card. Let's see what they might say about this. Uh, uh, yeah, this is the potential. Yeah. You have kind of had some type of an awakening here that there is so much potential between you and somebody. And this is why you are very motivated over here with the caffeine card. All right. Caffeine. Don't be a fiend, uh, Virgo for caffeine. I'm just teasing you guys. Right? 
Uh, that's easy to do if you drink coffee, though, because if you drink a lot of coffee, uh, right, you and you stop cold turkey, it's like any other drug. You can get headaches, major headaches. <laughs> Yeah, you can't. So let's see what we have, you guys. But I feel like you are motivated here. Yeah, definitely. See what we have for Virgo. And your person, we're going to put their cards down. Maybe they are the King of Wands. Because here, after the shuffle, we have the King of Wands. Shuffles. The Star and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, and I feel like you, you might be worried they're going to judge you for maybe past deception. Maybe for some, they are Sagittarius. I feel like you are looking to heal this. Maybe this could be somebody from your past especially with the oldest fairy, right? You might be thinking this is the oldest, the finest oldest fairy I ever saw, right? It's possible here. But long story short, uh, you could be fearing some type of judgment for some past uh, deception. Maybe you are escaping another situation over here, and maybe that's why somebody's gossiping here. We can't be sure, but the stars here, and you're looking at the star like, I don't know if I could either heal this, especially with temperance here, it can be healing. I'm not sure if I could heal this. This is uncertainty, this nine of wands, or I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, because this is insecurity and insecurity and both uncertainty here. You're pumped here and you're motivated. Yeah, you are. So let's see what else we have. For Virgo and your person right bottom of the deck now is a ten of Pentacles I feel like that's what you want uh, something solid maybe a family with this person here's the five of wands uh, in your challenge maybe there was competition in the past there could be uh, too many people involved because of the gossip card the hanged man is what you are fearing. Maybe you're afraid of a Piscean. I mean, it could be literal, but it doesn't have to be. This could be, uh, maybe you have sacrificed something here and you're kind of doubting uh, this new beginning you want with somebody. The one you're pumped up about. Yeah. Let's look at your person's energy. They have the two of wands reversed and the high priestess. So maybe your person is Pisces with the high priestess and the hanged man. It could be Scorpio. The King of Swords is what's on their mind. Here they are analyzing or deciding something. This person, maybe there are people are talking about you that you already made some type of a decision to go who after to go after who you are highly motivated about. And this motivation, this caffeine card, uh, clearly this woman who wrote this uh, deck is. Um, I feel like they are two women, maybe sisters or something, but maybe mother, daughter. But long story short, uh, the artwork here, one of them did the artwork. I feel like the artwork is beautiful. Yeah, it is. But long story short here, um, you know, uh, I forgot I was going to say about the motivation. Mm -hmm. let's, let's continue here. Your person could be analyzed. They could know that you've, that you're very motivated about something and you've already made a choice because here in their energy is the two of wands in the recent past. Sometimes maybe your person, this could be a crossroads that is no longer a crossroads anymore. Like you could have made a decision. You could have said you could have been at a crossroads for a long time because I feel like you have given into something here, Virgo. Like I'm giving into this major motivation I have about somebody. Yeah, and we have the sun card. Talks about beautiful relationships could be blooming. Your person could know that you've gone through some type of an awakening, like a major change inward. And now it's kind of affecting your whole union. Because I don't believe this is the person that you are motivated about. These three cards are like kind of doubt. This could be about a secret, the high priestess. Let's see what else is in their challenge here. Look at the queen of swords is in their challenge now. So this person could be angry or they are questioning you here. Maybe that's why there is gossip. Maybe they are judging you. Possibly here. This queen of swords is not that nice. 
Uh, she could be a real you know what here especially in the challenge oh my goodness i feel like this person is maybe angry or definitely challenging you on some level we have competition above it possibly about you already making a decision because the king of swords is here in their energy and the two of wands reversed i feel like this person is angry or discerning and yeah in the challenge they probably angry uh, discerning that you have already made a decision, but they're not entirely, either they're not entirely sure or they're angry or both possibly. And what they want, Virgo, we have the king of wands and this, or what they are hoping. And this doesn't even have this, maybe they're, you know, fire sign. Maybe they are this king of swords. Maybe they're a high priestess. The king of wands was at the bottom of the deck. They could be angry here and thinking that you've made a decision, maybe about a fire sign, possibly. I mean, sometimes the cards are laid out exactly like literal, right? Yeah, sometimes they are. Their fear is the star card. Uh, I feel like your person is afraid that you are really like, you're going to go heal the situation with somebody or there's somebody who very much inspires you or that you're going to have a new beginning with somebody. And we know somebody inspires you because of this caffeine card. And the oldest fairy, I feel like this is kind of a trip. I feel like somebody here is like the, the mature woman or the mature man, right? Like in terms of, you know, age, right? Let's get a couple cards for you, Virgo. I feel like this reading is kind of clear. I feel like you're going after something and you're like, you're going to, you're not going to let, you know, mother Mary stand in your way here. That's kind of how it looks. Let's see what we have. The eight of swords. I feel like you're not sure here because of the nine of wands, uh, the wounded warrior uncertainty. You're not sure with this eight of swords now that you're going to either heal this, recover it or recuperate kind of recover this with this person that you are motivated about. Maybe you're married to somebody or you maybe with the 10 of cups over here in the past. What's on your mind? Knight of swords. You look like you want to take some fast action here. Chariot card. Yep. Because the chariot is movement and the knight of swords is rushing right here to take action. You could feel here. You might feel like somebody's getting old over here or too much time has gone by. Possibly with the oldest fairy. This could be somebody from your past, maybe. But there's some type of major awakening you have gone through. You see the potential here with somebody. You've discovered this. You are like saying to yourself, uh, age is not important or possibly it doesn't matter if 20 years went by. I will still want to go be with them because of the potential. And in your challenge is the five of wands. And we have the four of cups. Yeah, this could be competition. You might have to leave somebody out here. Maybe you were challenged here because you were unhappy because you could be, you could have been unhappy with somebody or in a relationship that seemed to be kind of maybe disappointing to you because over here, this caffeine card is major motivation. Here she is all happy, this kind of, cute, silly fairy, right? Yeah. And she drank two cups of coffee. So, you know, and if it's the kind that you brew yourself or, you know, it's not instant, you could be wired out of your mind here. I'm motivated and pumped is my point. I feel like here you probably, you might, this could have been very challenging you for you to push somebody away. Possibly. Or maybe you had somebody, maybe you, you, you gave somebody some competition, like this person that you're motivated about because you've like changed your mind or woke up or done something like that. Awakened, transformed, transcended. I mean, it could be all that. I feel like you're in this eight of swords energy where I feel really stuck, but there's no other way, but upward and onward you have to, what's on your mind here is 
the chariot movement, like taking control of your life and getting in your little Fred Flintstone car, Virgo, if you have one, right? Because the chariot, you know, he, he, he has the, the courage and the willpower kind of to get in his chariot and for movement in his life. And I feel like that's what you are doing now. Maybe you had fear in the past, possibly. We have the full card. See, you want to take this chance. And it's here in the challenge. For me, it looks like you have no other recourse but to go find this older fairy or whoever she or he is. And they don't have to be old. They don't have to. But there is some type of reckoning here that time is not important. Is It's not as important as love itself. We have the Eight of Pentacles, and this is what you're hoping here. You're hoping you're going to have a victory, and this person will be inspired as you are, or maybe dedicated to you, devoted, things like that, or that this person will really try. The Hangman is your fear or your doubt, Virgo. We have the Death card. You could be maybe fearing how somebody will take an ending. You could be afraid if you maybe give something up or sacrifice something that you're not able to transform this maybe with this person. You could be afraid here that somebody will feel sacrificed. You could be afraid that they'll know with this gossip card. Because you might be fearing judgment from both people, Virgo, possibly for some. Because you could have done a 180 here. I changed my mind. I want to go back to, you know, so-and-so possibly. And so now I have to leave this person. But it's possible for some. And the other person, I might have left them in the past or not valued them. There's some type of major value here that you have for this person that you are motivated about or motivated for. We have the five of swords reversed. And this is in your person's energy. I feel like this person was in despair in the past. Or in chaos and conflict. They could be right here. Your person, I believe, what's on their mind. They think you're making a decision, I believe, for like a sabotage. Or that you have made one possibly for that. This person may know you were at a crossroads for a long time for some. Like really kind of thinking about this. I feel like there's somebody here that you didn't want to hurt. This person down here, most likely. We have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, they think you were like escaping or you're, you were lying to them, something like that. Ten of Pentacles, maybe you were in a marriage with them. This, this could be them, kind of. I feel like this person thinks you made a decision for an ending. Ten of Pentacles, like a completion. And they feel like you are getting into union with this other person. I feel like your person is very intuitive and, or, or you just, or they know, maybe they read love letters or I'm not sure, texts, something. Maybe somebody told them with the gossip card, Hey, your man or your woman's going back to so-and-so. Let's get a card on the queen of swords for them. We have the nine of swords. Yeah. Your person's really worried here. Here they are. This is anxiety, worry here. They are really worried here. Oh, this is like, it's a little hard. It's sad down here. Because I feel like you are fearing that, that they're going to feel sacrificed, the hangman. I feel like you also, yeah. And see, you didn't tell them. That's why they're in the queen of swords energy and the king of swords. You didn't tell them why you're leaving, most likely. And you, maybe you don't want to really, I feel like you don't want to hurt this person. Yeah, because you're fearing how they're going to take this ending next to a victory. The King of Wands, it could be what they are discerning with the Ace of Wands. Here they are. This is very clear. Your person thinks that you are, you have a passionate new opportunity with somebody. And they're heartbroken. I feel like they are. And I feel like Virgo, and here they are fearing the star card. That you're like, you're going to do this. You're going to have a healing or a new beginning with somebody and that you're very inspired over this other person and motivated. But the interesting, you know, and, and that is, that is like, that's sad for, you know, for this person, if this is resonating, right? It is. 
But I feel like Virgo, I feel like you didn't just get up and walk away. I feel like you had a major discovery and a major awakening in your life. It could have even been like a painful awakening because you didn't want to hurt this person. It's over here. Yeah. And I don't feel like you are telling them. I feel like, as I said, I feel like they are figuring that out either intuitively or you have changed how you treat them. And somebody, there could be gossip going around with this card. Yeah. You could be afraid here how they might judge you. Possible here. Because them knowing down here that you are ending this. And they know that you're not just kind of ending this because... They know that you're really motivated, inspired over somebody else. And that's like breaking their heart. I feel like it is. But we're going to end this reading, Virgo, because, uh, you know, on the good side, this is your reading and kind of want to keep it, you know, like positive, especially because it's beautiful. And I feel like you're going to have something beautiful with this person. This sun card talks about beautiful relationships, blooming, working out. And you're very motivated. And there's some type of like deserving in this reading. Like it's almost like you kind of know maybe you deserve somebody else and they deserve you. There's just a, a, an awakening here. I feel like there is. So we're going to end this reading. And I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching Virgo. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe.